Hey guys, in this video, we're gonna talk about keto transition and blood sugars, okay? A lot of people, when they're doing keto adaptation, they go through all sorts of uh, symptoms like moodiness, irritableness, grouchiness, because they're, they're shifting from a sugar fuel to a fat fuel, okay? In the process, you have to build new enzymes, build new machinery, and so a lot of times it's not as smooth as, as you would like it, okay? So I'm gonna talk about the three common things that I see when I talk to people. Um, when I look at the person's food log and I see what they're doing, I find out they're not really doing it correctly, okay? They're not really, the meals aren't complete. They're not doing enough vegetables, okay? They're not doing enough protein. They might skip protein right out of the meal. And they're definitely not doing enough fat. Number two, uh, they're sort of doing it, but they're not fully doing it consistently. So they might have a snack here, uh, a drink here, and just they're not doing it consistently. And then the third thing is the time that they're doing it correctly is very short. Come to find out, um, out of a whole month, they maybe did it like two or three days correctly, and then they kind of go off the program, they go back on the program. So really, you have to do it correctly and long enough to experience the results. And that could be between two to three weeks. And yes, you, not, you might need to add the B vitamins in there, potassium, electrolytes, sodium, but to get rid of this this transition phase where you're moody, irritable, and stabilize your uh, emotions, you need to do it correctly and you, do, you need to do it long enough. Okay, so your next step is to get started and do it for real. Hey, if you haven't already subscribed, press the button below and I will keep you in the know. Hey, that rhymes.